how can we copy data and charts into Excel? And how can we actually become more efficient at doing this? That's what I want to show you in this lesson. First things first, let me just take this table right here and I'm gonna show you all the different ways that you can paste it into Excel. So I've copied the table and I'm going to Excel. Now, if I right click, I have all of these different pasting options. Let's see what each and every one of them does. If I paste it as a destination style, it will take the table as it is and it will paste it in the same style as PowerPoint. So this basically becomes a dumb table, which is just as a PowerPoint table, only it has the data from Excel. As you can see, I can delete all of these numbers and write whatever I want in their place. Now, if I delete this table, we can go to the next paste option, which keeps the source formatting. So this does basically the same thing as the previous one, only it keeps the same formatting as it was in Excel. Still a dumb table, but looks a bit better. The next option is to embed the table. And this is where it actually gets interesting. Because if we embed the table, you can see it looks exactly the same as it does in Excel. However, if I double click on it, look what happens. It actually turns into an Excel spreadsheet. So now I can modify it just as I would in Excel which is pretty cool, but still doesn't quite do the trick to the best of its potential. Finally, I can copy it as a picture. And this can actually work well in certain situations. So for example, if you just need to paste something once and don't need to update it afterwards, this is a pretty good representation of what it looks like in Excel. So if you actually need to just show a table once, then you can copy it as a picture. As long as you don't need to modify the data in PowerPoint, then this should work fine. The last option you have is to just paste it as text only, but as you can see, that's a bit, you know, <laughs> just wild. It, it doesn't look good at all. Um, so I think there's only very few situations when you would actually do that. But what if I have a lot of tables and I want to take them all to PowerPoint? Am I just going to go through every table, copy it, paste it into PowerPoint, go back to Excel, copy it, paste it into PowerPoint? Actually, Office has this pretty good functionality, which is called the Office Clipboard. Now, the way you enable the Office Clipboard is you'll see it under the Home tab, just underneath the Format Painter and the Paste button. You see Clipboard written right here. And if you press the button in the corner, it will bring it up on the left-hand side. Now, what I can do is I can copy this table. And as you can see, it's going to appear right here on the left. I can go to my Charts, copy this chart, and it's there. Copy this one and this one, and this one. Then go to my pivot chart, copy it as well. Everything is in the clipboard. As long as you don't close all of the Microsoft Office applications. So I could close Excel right now and it would still be saved in the clipboard. So as long as I don't close PowerPoint, it will still be there. Now, if I bring the clipboard on in PowerPoint, I have everything here. So I can paste this, I can paste this and this and this very easily. You might note that when you click this button, you can't actually control the type of pasting that goes on. So you might be pasting them like this and you're wondering what type of pasting you're actually doing. Luckily, when you right click, you can choose between using the destination theme and embedding it, keeping the source formatting and embedding it and pasting it as a picture. So basically what you're gonna do with the Office Clipboard is you're gonna embed it anyway. And as you can see, these graphs look really cool. Now what I'm gonna show you in the following lecture is how you can actually link these graphs and how you can actually automate the refreshing of all of this data. So let's just move on to the next lecture and learn how to do just that.